you guys probably don't know this about me, but I chose this outfit tonight. <laughs> I didn't just choose it tonight either. I chose the outfit I wore this morning. In fact, every day, <laughs> I choose my own clothes. And you know, that's something I think is remarkable about all of us. Everyone in this room, every day, you choose your own outfit. Isn't that incredible to think about? Everyone, every outfit you see, they chose it. Every morning you wake up and you lay some clothes out on the bed and you look at them and you think, yeah, I'm a little bit like that. <laughs> that's a little bit what I'm like. And no matter how long you've been practicing, I've been practicing 35 years. Sometimes you put the clothes on and you walk out of the house and you see yourself in a window or something, you think, no, I'm not like this at all, I'll fuck this. <laughs> you see it, you see it on other people too, walking down the street, you think, whoa, buddy, long day, huh? It's a long day. <laughs> long day to be in the wrong clothes. <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard to be in charge of all of the decisions for your life. So, for instance, I've been a vegetarian for nine years, but I recently stopped uh, because I accidentally remembered that <laughs> animals are yum. And, <laughs> and if you're trying not to eat animals, this would be damn near the last thing you want to remember. <laughs> and so I try to placate my guilt by being like, well, maybe the smart ones don't get caught, but I've seen the documentaries and uh, even they don't stand a chance. But it feels different for fish, right? You know? Because with a fish... So what's say this? What's say, you know, I'm walking down the street like this, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a sandwich just drops down in front of me like that, you know? No context. <laughs> now, I would never eat that sandwich. <laughs> and so that's how I know I am smarter <laughs> than a fish. <laughs> So now I'm eating fish again. <laughs> i tell you one more thing about me before we keep this thing rolling. Because a lot of people don't know this, but I'm actually a stepdad. I, I'm a stepdad to uh, my stepdaughter, Olive, who is eight years old. She was two when I met her. She's aged by an increment of six. You know, I, I, I have two. She's grown up so fast, but she'll never catch me. And... <laughs> Being a step-parent is probably my most favorite thing in the world. I love it so much, it's completely changed my life. I think the hardest thing probably about being a step-parent is, um, is finding a family to break up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can! I can! No, no. If you find the right family, they will have done it themselves.